Welcome to part 3 of the series on business process automation. This time we talk about when to use a business process management system. Not all business processes should be supported by a business process management system. If the business process management system is a hammer, then we need to look for nails and not use it on anything else. So how can you recognize a business process management problem when you're out in the wild? The first question is, what is the return on investment? This is a general question for all IT systems. The benefits of introducing the system must be greater than the investment in developing and maintaining the system. For example, the number of cases in a certain time period must exceed a certain value. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense financially. How are the tasks of the business process ordered? Are there some rules that certain tasks need to come before others? In our example from the last video, we had that boarding always came after check-in. And if we have these kinds of relationships, then this is an indicator for using a business process management system. Or is the order determined ad hoc? For example, if you are writing a marketing concept with a group of people, then who is going to do what at which point in time more or less depends on the state of the document. And there are no fixed rules. And this is an indicator against the use of a business process management system and rather to use a document management system or a wiki, for example. Are there resources to be orchestrated? Persons with different roles working together is one such thing. Or interaction between humans and machines. This is a clear indicator for the use of a business process management system. Or can the job be done by just one person? Here you would rather go for a desktop solution or something different, but nothing that is really concentrated on the business process itself. Another question is the existence of standard software for our problem. If there exists such a software, we can purchase it and just customize it instead of developing something from scratch. The question about the ordering of tasks is an important one. The boundary of how flexible business process management systems can be is permanently being extended. There are several approaches to this problem and this is something we will discuss in a later video. First, we need to look at workflow languages and paradigms. So, wrapping up, we can depict this in some kind of decision tree. So, the first question is, is there a return on investment? If not, we can decide not to automate and just continue like that. If yes, we can, we can ask, is orchestration needed? If not, we can use desktop tools. If yes, we can ask, is the problem structured? Are the tasks in a certain order? If not, we can use collaborative software. If yes, we can ask, is there a standard software? And if yes, we can purchase it and customize it. And if not, we can use a business process management system and create our own individual processes. Thank you for watching.